California's Central Valley is one of the world's most productive agricultural regions. I have traveled many times up and down the state, but I've never had the opportunity to stop and explore the cities and sites of the Central Valley. So I'm taking a road trip from Bakersfield to Lodi, up the Highway 99. In the south, east from Los Angeles, sits the city of Bakersfield in Kern County. This region is known for agriculture and country music. The great place to stay in Bakersfield is the Padre Hotel. So tell me a little bit more about how Bakersfield, what role does it play in the Central Valley? And downtown Bakersfield specifically is a great example of some of the revitalization that's happening throughout the Central Valley. Add a lot of mom and pop shops opening, a lot of really fun locally owned businesses. Tell me a little bit about Buck Owens Crystal Palace. Who plays here? All sorts of musicians. We have the local acts during the week. We've had Garth Brooks here. We've had uh, Taylor Swift, the Dixie Chicks. We were the hot bed here. Buck Owens and Merle Haggard basically put Bakersfield on the map with country music. It's really neat to see three generations out there enjoying live music and dancing. Where else does that happen? A great rest stop off the 99 is Bravo Farms. Nothing says refuel like souvenirs, snacks, and games. You can also pick up vintage cheese made on site from California dairy farms. There's something for the entire family. 100 miles north of Bakersfield is the city of Fresno. Fresno is home to the Forestieri Underground Gardens, a remarkable place with a great story about the American dream. The Underground Gardens was created by Baldassare Forestieri, and he came to America in the early 1900s with the goal of growing citrus, and he faced obstacles along the way. He just found a way to do it underground. In the northern tip of the Central Valley, you will find Lodi, known for its phenomenal wine. There's a charming downtown district and nearly 100 vineyards. The city is only 35 miles south of Sacramento and 90 miles east of San Francisco. To end my road trip in style, I checked into the Wine and Roses Hotel. I had a glass of wine with the owner of the property to learn more about the region. There's such a huge wine history here. We have about probably 110 to 120,000 acres of grapes now. We have about 85 to 100 wineries. The old families is Michael David Winery. I think that's very well known across the U.S. We have Clinker Brick, which is another excellent winery. And Oak Farm is another up and coming winery that's here. And that's a great place to be. And cheers great. to that. This is a place you truly have to experience for yourself. Can't wait to do it again.